done, I have a couple of quick card shares, and then I also want to talk about a new die I've been using and actually ask for some suggestions about this die. But let me show you the cards first. Uh, this is the first one, and I actually used um, this doily back here was made with the uh, it's tea time doily die by Cottage Cuts and I said layered some paper and um, this is the new script stamp that I had purchased recently and I embossed that with enamel embossing powder on some super lightweight uh, craft chipboard and then layered a doily and a flower and a doily really simple card added a little bit of um, canvas trim and some pearls and just a little tag over here that says key to my heart and then on the inside I just made a little pocket for this tag and added some lace trim and then this card is also very simple but I absolutely love it I love um, this blush color and so I had shown this flower um, one or two videos ago but I had this cardstock that was the exact same color. So I just layered some of the paper on there from the, um, the vintage Valentine's paper pad that I had shown from Hobby Lobby and added a doily and um, embossed a little sentiment on a tag here. Again, just super, super simple, but I wanted the flower to sort of be the focal point of this card and just another little pocket for a tag or for a yeah, for a tag on the inside. So here, here are some doilies that I cut out with my new cottage cuts die and they are absolutely um, gorgeous. I love them. And my mom actually came up with the idea to um, run some trim through the holes. However, when I first got the die and I put the ejection foam over the top and ran it through my cuddle bug, it, I was really having a very difficult time getting a clean cut, especially with a little bit heavier weight cardstock. This is um, die cuts with a view paper and it, it is a little bit thicker. The only thing I could get a clean cut with, and I know um, uh, another YouTuber had said this as well, was with like pack, packing paper, like the brown packing paper seemed to cut real well, but I purchased this die because I wanted to be able to die cut my um, pattern papers. And so I was getting really frustrated, so I took all of the foam off and got it out of all of the little holes and then of course it cuts beautifully but then the little holes become filled with cardstock after five or six cuts and then you have to take it all out which takes quite a bit of time like 20 minutes to get all the little pieces out if not more so my question and this is my first cottage cuts die um, so one thought was I should try the ejection form foam again I did use quite a few shims, as many as I could. I, I felt like I couldn't use any more without like cracking a plate. Um, but I'm wondering if it's one of those things where you have to send it through like a whole bunch of times before it actually cuts well. So if anybody has this die or is you know more familiar with the cottage cuts dies and being able to get them to cut out of just regular weight um, pattern paper please let me know because I'm kind of, I really, really love the dye, but um, it's kind of a pain and I'm not exactly sure what to do, but you can see how beautiful it is. I absolutely love it. So that's all I have for today. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.